guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. I am packing up my weekend sales. I only have about 15 items here, which is a relatively slow weekend for me. However, I have not been listing consistently and so sales always slow down because of that. However, I am getting back into the groove. I'm going to really try to buckle down and list consistently, film consistently. That's why I decided to make this video. I was like, well, you know, I don't have a huge amount of sales, but I'm still going to show up. So let's go ahead and get into it. There is obviously always some good information in what sold videos. You see what's trending, what's sold fast, um, and what people are actively looking to buy at this current time. Okay, so first off, we have a pair of Ann Taylor pants. These are a faux leather. They're an oxblood color, wide leg, high rise, really nice pair of pants. These are kind of quintessential fall time pants. So it was no surprise to me when they sold quickly. I actually received these very recently in a clothing buyout where I paid $700 for everything. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap them one more time. And so divided out, I did pay $12.96 for these. I listed them at $40. Someone liked them. And so Flip sent out an offer of $36 with discount ship for me. Flip has really been kind of keeping me afloat. It is... A reseller toolkit it is a hundred percent free there's no strings attached no catch it's free I'll have the link to sign up down below if you'd like to sign up basically it just sends offers to likers for you when you're you know not being as hands-on with your business as you could be which is the boat that I've been in uh, so yeah it's been sending out offers for me automatically which has been a huge help um, it sent out a $36 offer with discount ship. I just have it set to automatically send out a 10% off offer with discount ship anytime someone likes one of my listings. So that was accepted, which made my earnings $26.12 on these and my net profit $13.16. So $13 net profit is a bit lower than my typical net profit however you know i didn't spend any time shopping for these and that definitely does factor into things because i've mentioned it so many times but in reselling and really any business time is definitely money okay next up we have a pair of jeans these are zara i actually grabbed these from the bins in austin i was excited because they are the news newer Zara tag and they're a very trendy kind of 90s mom high-rise cut. Um, I listed them at 35 and I would say maybe like four or five months later I received a $22 offer which I did counter to 25 and that was accepted. Um, I have found that the newer tag Zara is for sure one of my best selling bread and butter brands. I do really like to find it. Um, and you know, it does retail for a pretty penny. These jeans were probably, I would guess like 40 to 65 ish retail. And so with a net profit of 18 on these, I am happy with that. I was in Austin visiting some friends and I absolutely love their Goodwill outlet locations. That's where I used to have to shop when I wanted to go to the Goodwill outlet or the bins. I'd have to drive to Austin because Houston didn't have bins for the longest time. Now we have five locations, um, but I always loved shopping at the Goodwill outlet in Austin. And so I had to stop when we were visiting friends and I found some really good stuff. I found a Johnny Was cardigan. I can link that video down below. Um, it's always really interesting, cool stuff 
at the Austin outlet. Okay, next up, another pair of pants. You can tell we are in fall time. People are buying pants. These are Mother jeans. This is a very popular style from Mother, the Hustler Ankle Fray. They're a high rise, frayed hem, kind of a boot cut. And these were also part of the buyout I was just mentioning. So I also paid $12.96 for these. These did have some puckering, but when you're wearing them, it's not really noticeable. So I just kind of described that in the listing and I said, you know, otherwise in good pre-owned condition. And I took photos. I still listed them at $45 because like I said, these were a really popular style of jean from Mother. And they retail for like 200, maybe 220, 250-ish. So there is still room there to make a profit even with the flaw. I listed at 45, I got an offer of 30, which I did counter to 35, and that was accepted. And so my earnings were $28, and my net profit was $15 on these jeans. All right, next up we have an adorable dress from Mod Cloth. This has quite a bit going for it. It's a fit and flare kind of skater style dress, which is pretty popular. It also has a Peter Pan collar, which that's definitely a key word. People do search that out with little embroidered sunflowers on the pockets. It's also a really nice, thick kind of ponty knit material, which is very flattering and durable. This isn't going to like pill easily or show wash wear easily so that's always nice i do love finding mod cloth it does have a pretty good retail and resale value especially if the piece is exceptionally quirky or has like a really cool novelty print anything with like cats or dogs or you know any kind of like popular animal and it's a mod cloth brand that is highly likely to sell really well. Um, I have sold the brand Retrolicious. Definitely keep your eye out for Retrolicious. That's a brand that is sold through Mod Cloth and um, they do a lot of really fun novelty prints. I've sold several skirts around $40 from Retrolicious. So, yeah, I do really enjoy selling mod cloth. So I listed this for $35. Someone liked it. So again, Flip sent out a $31 offer with discount ship for me. That was accepted, making my earnings $22.12. I picked this up from my local family thrift center outlet. So my cost of goods were $2.25. They have gone up a quarter per item recently just because everything has been going up. That's how they, they justified it, um, which, you know, I understand. So my net profit on this dress was right around $20. Okay, moving on. We have a Brandy Melville crew neck top in like a baby blue color and it has a pointel knit in the shape of little hearts which is so cute so feminine definitely a nod to the 90s kind of y2k long sleeve like baby tee kind of style and i think this particular top from brandy melville is a little bit harder to find I forget the exact name of it. Let me see. It's called the Leah Top. And so I did put rare in the title. And yeah, it sold really quickly along with I had an identical one. It's also the Leah Top, but it's in a floral print. It also sold very quickly. So these tops were both from that buyout I was just mentioning. So I did pay $13 for each of them. 
but you know obviously I still wanted to list them because even the items that don't have that high of a retail price is probably only retailed for like 25 to 30 dollars I do still want to list them if I know that they will sell so that they don't drive up the cost of the other items in the buyout I want to recoup my cost on these and if I make a profit I'm happy with that so I listed this at 30 I sent a $27 offer with discount ship that was accepted my earnings were $18.92 and my net profit was around six dollars so not only did I recoup my $13 but I actually made a profit of six which you know again for lower end items in a buyout I'm super happy to make a profit on those. Okay, next up we have a J. Jill tunic. Really cute. It's like a gingham print. Mother of pearl buttons. It's a popover tunic, meaning that the buttons only go halfway down. It has pockets, and then when you roll the sleeves, it has a contrasting plaid print, which I thought was adorable. This is very fall time with some black leather leggings and boots, maybe like a fun wool hat. I grabbed this from the bins. I have been loving getting Chico's, J. Jill, as kind of like a more mature tier of bread and butter items. They have been selling really well for me. So I listed this at 28 and I received a $22 offer on it, which I did accept. So that made my earnings $17.60. I probably paid a couple dollars for it. It's very lightweight. So my net profit was $15.60. I recently downloaded this new app. I forget what it's called even. Hours maybe? What is it called? Yeah, Hours. And it's been, I've been logging my work hours, which has been really helping me just stay motivated and focused because if I know I'm on the clock, I'm less likely to get distracted and do other things while I'm working. And it also shows me how many hours a day I'm actually putting towards work. Just because when you work from home or you work for yourself, it's really easy to, you know, do some laundry or unload the dishwasher in between working. And I think I want to try to start having it more you know, segmented and try to work a certain hour amount of hours a day. I think I'm trying to do around six and that's not including meals or anything. So yeah, it's been going pretty well so far, but I do like that app. It's been keeping me focused. Okay, next up we have a pullover quarter zip jacket, sweater jacket from the brand Icebreaker. Definitely an excellent bolo brand, especially heading into winter time. This did have a small hole at the collar. This is one of the only brands that I will buy flawed. Like if I notice a hole in the sweater in store, I will still buy it. This one did have a hole at the collar. It wasn't too noticeable because people will still buy them and still pay a pretty penny for them. This probably retailed for around $100 to $150. Um, and they're often worn these mer merino wool type items like long sleeve shirts or leggings, tank tops. They are worn as base layers. So a lot of people don't even care if they have holes because no one sees them. It's like under their clothing. So yeah, um, this brand, Icebreaker, also Ibex, also Smart Wool, I will buy with small flaws. Um, I, listed, I still listed this at 50 even with the flaw. And someone liked it, so Flip sent them out a $45 offer with discount ship. If you guys are interested in downloading Flip, I, the free reseller toolkit I was telling you about, um, I will leave the link to sign up down below. And I'll also link the video that I made explaining how it all works, how to set it all up. Um, but yeah, so my $45 offer with discount ship was accepted that was sent out that made my earnings $33.32. I paid around $2 the bins, so my net profit on that was $31.32 for a flawed item. So that just shows you if the MSRP is high enough and if the demand for the brand is high enough, 
you can for sure still make a great profit on flawed items. Okay, next we have that other Leah thermal top from Brandy Melville. This one is like a cream base with a really cute navy floral print. Anytime a floral print is really small and kind of dainty, that is called a ditzy floral print. Those are keywords. Um, it's a very kind of 90 style print and people do search that out. So I always try to include those keywords. I also listed this one at 30. I received a $22 offer on it, which I did counter to 25. That was accepted. My earnings were 20 and my net profit was around seven. So again, on these lower end items, I'm ecstatic to make profit on them um, because the higher end items from the buyout are what I really am going to make my profits on. That's what I'm really um, you know, excited about when I'm doing a buyout. But I do still list the mall brands and lower end items, again, to just not drive up the cost of those higher ticket items, if that makes sense. So I do really like selling Brandy Melville. It never sells for like a huge amount, but it is a very consistent and fast seller for me, which those two qualities of a brand really do mean a lot to me. Okay, we have a two piece bundle here. First off is this Angie kimono. We are getting into the time of year where these like kimonos and scarves fly out of my closet. They are my bread and butter in the fall time, especially, you know, like plaid or um, gingham kimonos, wraps, cardigans, shawls, uh, scarves. Second piece is Dolan by Left Coast Collection. This is sometimes sold at Anthropology. It's a micro stripe uh, ribbed top with this cowl neck that you can snap up if you like, if you'd like to turn it into a turtleneck, or you can wear it unsnapped as a cowl. So when the two of these pieces were added together, the bundle price came out to $56 and I was offered 50, which I did accept. That made my earnings 40. I paid about $3 for both of these. And so my net profit was $37 on this bundle. I have had both of these pieces for a while now, I would say around six months each. Um, but I think it's because I listed both of them in warmer weather. And so that's why it's important to relist your stuff. You want to get fresh eyes on items on fall items that you listed in summertime. Okay. Next we have an Eileen Fisher sweater. This is kind of an ideal pickup for me from Eileen Fisher. It's a good material, linen, cotton blend, and it's also, I can add a ton of keywords into this. Because it's a linen blend, I can add lag and look. Um, it also is very kind of beachy, so, you know, coastal grandma, beach, neutral. You can also do contemporary, minimalist, also boho. This sweater falls into a lot of different style categories, and so that means that it is going to really appeal to a wide variety of potential buyers, and that is what you want to look for. It also, you know, obviously is a reputable brand, Eileen Fisher, very high quality, great materials. So I listed this at $35, I would say maybe about a month ago. So relatively fast sale. Someone liked it. I sent them out a $31 offer with discount ship. That was accepted. So my earnings were $22 and 12 cents. I paid two and so my net profit was $20 on that sweater. 
Okay, and our last sale for today is a bundle. This is a three-piece bundle. First off is Umji, really cute top. It has like a dolman batwing style sleeve and a v-neck. Just a very interesting kind of cut to it. Um, Umji has been just flying out of my closet. I probably listed 10 pieces from this brand in the last couple months and I think they've all sold. This one is Altered State, another pretty fast seller for me. Um, it's a chambray little off-shoulder top with kind of like a ruffle overlay at the chest. I've had this one for probably about six months now. And lastly is Beach Lunch Lounge, red kind of buffalo check, again, off-shoulder top, super cute. This one I think I ordered from the Thread Up Outlet. I just thought it was a really nice kind of quintessential fall time top. Has like some feminine lumberjack vibes to it. So I have had this one for a while now, probably about nine months to a year on that top. And when the three of these were added to a bundle, the bundle price, including my automatic bundle discount of 15% off three items or more, came out to $62 and I was offered 56, which I did accept. I was thrilled with that. I always love moving inventory that I have had around for a little bit. Um, my earnings were $44.80. I paid about $9 for everything. And so my net profit was $36 on this bundle, which I am happy with. I can take that and reinvest it into inventory that is going to sell faster. Um, and so yeah, that is absolutely everything that I sold over the weekend. Um, like I said, it was kind of a slower weekend, but that always just kind of motivates me to, you know, put the pedal to the metal, get back in gear and list more. I probably have around 300 unlisted items right now. So there will be a lot of upcoming thrift hauls followed by ship with me's. I did buy a GoPro camera and so I am going to try to start dabbling with filming myself thrifting, shopping, doing some thrift with me videos. So keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will be sure to not miss any of that content. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, take care. I'll see y'all later. Bye guys.